And uh, it's put together by Steve Z and Feargorm, both observers here in our lobby, and C Gnome, who is recording everything with Fraps for future generations to appreciate. So, Navi and Avoid here. It is tied one to one in the round of eight. And uh, we got Avoid as Protoss and Navi as Zerg. This is kind of a nice open map here. I, this is one of my favorite maps, honestly. Um, we've got. <clears throat> Avoid is the orange Protoss in the kind of north position, and we've got Navi as the blue Zerg in the right-hand side position. Of course, this is a 1v1 map, so everyone knows where they are. <clears throat> Good luck, have fun, heart. Good luck, have fun, comma. He's got a comma heart. <clears throat> so, moving right along, Navi here has got her spamming rally points, keeping that APM running. I'm going to pull up the production tab here for everybody to see. And, uh... Ooh, okay, interesting. Kind of an early scout. I wonder if he's thinking about uh, choking off right here with his first couple of buildings. Uh, very possible. Yes, he is. All right. I like that. Why not? Turns out th that these pile of rocks here and pile of rocks here takes quite a while, especially for Zerg to chew through. Zerglings don't do a lot of damage versus... These things have, what, like armor 3 or something like that? Yeah, armor 3 versus Zerglings. That's like 2 damage per Zergling. Not worth it. <laughs> Need some bigger guns to be able to get through that. <clears throat> So, that's a pretty fair way to wall off. And uh, here comes the first Overlord Scout. And Navi might not even send out a traditional scout, just because the uh, close air positions on this map allow for that to be uh, done so easily. Uh, chrono Boosting Workers, uh, we will likely see... I don't know, I, I don't think he's going to go all zealots, so we'll just likely see him build his normal uh, Cyber Core and Gateway up front here. Maybe even Photon Cannon? I doubt it, though. I've never really seen a Void do the Photon Cannon thing myself, and I... Wouldn't I would be surprised to see him change it up so drastically uh, this far along in the series with all all stakes on the line here. <clears throat> oh, okay. And here we've seen Navi do the reverse build this time. It looked like she got the spawning pool first and then the extractor, or at least got them really close to one another, whereas in previous games we saw them get them right at the end there. Uh, I believe he is calling her ovaries ugly. Oh, no, sorry, that means overlord. Haha. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I like to mess around. Quick expo here for Avoid. Ooh, I like that. That's insane, actually. That's that's one pylon and an expansion. No gateway. Heh, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess uh, he called it here because she's doing the exact same thing, so we'll see. That tends to uh, even things up pretty well if you can get away with it because, frankly, Zerg always kind of needs to be one hatchery, in a, you know, one hatchery ahead of their opponents. So... Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. We've got the forge and the gateway going up here. Oh, very clever, so he's really going to reinforce that. And we've got the pylon behind these destructible rocks. So he's really setting up a fortress here. So a void's going to be a little impregnable at first. And meanwhile, uh, it looks like we're going to see Navi just get her standard sort of, uh, you know, macro build on. Oh, good, okay, we got the roaches coming up now, too. Queen is almost done. Haven't seen a single Zergling. Haven't got a single... Uh, haven't got the metabolic boost upgrades yet. I hate that. You've heard me say this before. I think even a Roach player should get the metabolic boost upgrade. You're going to want those uh, fast Zerg resupplies all the time. But alas, going to have to wait and see. There's the Photon Cannon. There's the Maynard Exchange going on. And uh, Main's still looking the same. Still no gas anywhere. He's just trying to fund all of this. Uh, a couple of Zealots coming up here. And Navi's expansion is going on. Will she do the worker exchange? The student exchange program? Maybe so, maybe not. Now, I do... One thing Avoid's got down pretty well is he has all of his... Uh, he takes a big chunk of his workers. He gets them all there the second the, uh, second the expansion finishes. I mean, all good players do that, but it's nice to see him do that pretty perfectly. Whereas, if you see Navi, she just hasn't quite got that yet. I don't know if she's even going to transfer anybody, but frankly, this is nice and saturated. It would be good to do that. Let me take a look at the units at the moment. 21 to 25, so Avoid is slightly ahead. Go back to production. Single Roach on the way. Single Zealot, so interesting. Roaches are going to get creamed by this Photon Cannon, though. Although the positioning is a little off here, as you can see. The Roaches could theoretically hit that pylon. Um, not even theoretically, they just definitely could. Roaches right here. This is range 3. They could definitely do that. Um, so, at some point, he's going to want to put a, a pylon back there if it looks like he's getting pressure at all. I'm surprised to see him chopping through this, honestly. I would have... I mean, because <laughs> he's just opened himself up. I mean, I guess he has no idea, of course, that the roaches are going to be spinning through here. But earlier, I said you don't want Lings to do this kind of a task. It takes too long. You need somebody who does something more to armored, which is a... Not that roaches do plus damage to armored, but they simply do more damage. 
still, this expansion is not going too strong, and there's a lot of workers here. I'd love to see these workers doing something else, but hey, you know, whatever, man. I'm sure she's got her priorities. <clears throat> At the very least, I'd like to see a third gas, because uh, I'd imagine... Uh, I could just be going for Hydras. Hydras would be good right now, because uh, you've got a good solid land land path there. You could very easily uh, extend your creep up to here, very easily have your overlords kind of poop out in that area. And these zealots are about to get a face full of uh, vomit, <laughs> so gonna going to want to look out for that. Um, he really needs a cannon back here. I mean, he's kind of quickly realized that he's just opened up a Pandora's box here in terms of uh, his back door is now wide open and he has no defenses there, and he kind of didn't want to do that. But uh, who knew that there'd be this many roaches coming in? This does not look good. I do not want to be uh, a void in this case. Uh, he doesn't have enough zealots. He doesn't have enough cannons, and there are just a ton of uh, <clears throat> ton of roaches moving in for the kill here. Let's see, we got the glial reconstitution going up, and we got more and more and more roaches coming. This is going to very quickly go into Navi's favor if a void isn't a little more careful. He's being too aggressive here. I just, I don't know why he's doing this. He risks losing all of these. If I was Navi right now, I'd, as soon as there's an opening, I'd run straight through those guys, get the surround off, and really just capitalize on that. But uh, absolutely throwing away all of his zealots here. Barely even got two kills there, three kills. Big problems here, but maybe he stalled just long enough to get a single photon cannon up, which isn't going to matter. Uh, I I think he shouldn't have opened that back door. You know, I said it at the beginning; it was really dangerous. Ah, no! Don't send all your workers in a void. No, you were the chosen one. How can you do this? Oh well. Uh, I think a void just kind of made all the wrong calls in that one. Uh, you know, two times in this matchup, he tried an a zealot only build against Navi, and two times he lost horribly to Roaches. So. Alas, alas, look at all of his workers go away. Not all of his workers, but a whole bunch of them. But uh, he's just trying to overwhelm with zealots. And just You can't do that. You just need something other than zealots versus that many roaches. Uh, she's even getting uh, speed upgrades for her overlords. Uh, just in a great position here. I mean, you know, never give up, never surrender. This is the final game. He's going to hang out here and just try and try and do as much damage as he can. Getting some surrounds off, that's all nice and all that, but uh, he's going to lose half his production here and this forge if he's not careful. A uh, couple of pylons here. Not pylons, photon cannons. All right, avoid. Note to self, don't do that. I thought he made that note to himself earlier as well, but that's okay. So it looks like we got Navi going.